Hello everyone, it's Nicole and I'm back with another video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in some of your problems that you're having and I'm going to attempt to give you guys life advice. I'm not qualified to be doing this at all, so take my advice at your own risk. I just thought it'd be fun for me to give my opinions and input on some things that are happening with you guys. So, uh, let's go get into that. I really like this kid and we're good friends. I drop hints, but he doesn't get it. Kids are oblivious. That's all I really have to say there. People are oblivious, especially when it has to do with someone liking someone. It's just so easy to be like, they don't like me, nah. Keep dropping hints, I guess, and get more and more obvious with your hints, but if this kid still doesn't get it, tell him. Fortune favors the bold, so if you want results, you gotta take some risks in life. So I mean, if you feel comfortable enough to just tell him, that's probably the best bet here, but if not, then just keep doing what you're doing, hope for the best. How do I interact with people without being awkward? I'm still trying to figure that out. Conversation pretty much flows the best when you have a common interest or a common ground to talk about. If it's someone who like is into theater or something and you're into theater, talk about musicals. Like find a common ground and talk about that and then other conversation will build off of that first interaction. But if you literally know nothing about this person and you just need like help with small talk, ask questions because people like talking about themselves and if you ask them questions, they're gonna do the most of the talking. Also, you can never go wrong with giving someone compliments. Like compliment what they're wearing or their hair or whatever. They'll be all like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet, thank you. And then it's just like, yeah. How can I get over stage fright? It's a problem of mine. Being comfortable on stage and not getting scared, all a mindset. What works best for me for like plays and musicals and stuff is just to pretend it's a rehearsal, tune everyone else out, which isn't that hard to do because if you've ever been on stage, it's all a bunch of bright lights at you so you can't even see the audience. Pretend that the world only exists on stage and there's nobody out there watching and that's just gonna make you the most comfortable as you will be. It's just pretending they're not there and acting like it's just any other rehearsal. I feel like my friends are mad at me and don't trust me. What should I do? Talk to your friends about the insecurities you're feeling because that's how you get the best results is by communicating. If these are good friends, then they're going to help reassure you that that's not the case. So talk to them about your insecurities. I know I really should trust him, but I don't know if my boyfriend is 100% loyal. The first question here is, has he done anything to prove that he's not loyal? Because if he hasn't done anything and this is all in your head, then you can't let your own doubts get in the way of a relationship. Like a big part of a relationship is just putting your trust in this person and being able to put your guard down and be vulnerable in front of this person. And it's hard, it's scary, but it's something you gotta do if you wanna make it work. So you gotta just put your trust in him, hope for the best, hope he doesn't screw it up. And that's literally all you can do in that situation is just, Give him your trust and hope he doesn't break it. I recently broke up with my ex and I always think about him when we had a really toxic relationship. This happens with most things. When something ends, you only think of the good. You need to stop focusing on the good things and what you miss about him and focus on the bad things which made you break up in the first place. If this truly was a toxic relationship, then I'm sure you had a lot of situations when you just felt terrible being with this person. Focus and remember those moments. How to find motivation. Have an end goal in mind and come up with easy, simple steps to get to it. Like for example, if you're trying to find motivation to clean your room, your end goal is a nice, clean, relaxing room, you know? So then in order to achieve it, you need to come up with simple steps that make your goal look reachable. So like start by making your bed, then start by putting your clothes away, then you'll organize your desk. Like come up with little steps to reach the end goal. How does one properly yeehaw like this? Yeehaw! <laughs> I'm so sorry. How do I get my dog to like me? Give your dog peanut butter. My dogs love peanut butter. Just get a spoonful of peanut butter, give it to your dog. Your dog will associate you with that wonderful sticky snack. That sounds nasty. And then it should be all good from that point on, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, try it, peanut butter's fun. Meet internet friends. So if you're trying to meet your internet friends in real life, here is how to do it. First, you gotta tell your parents about them so they know you're not being catfished. And the best way to do that is to prove they're an actual human being. So like have your parents FaceTime your internet friend with you. Like I did that with Tori. Like I'd be like talking to Tori. I'd be like, mom, wanna say hi to Tori? So like my parents knew she was real and not catfishing me, not a 40 year old man or anything. So we were good. Even just getting both families connected. So like I'd have my mom talk to Tori's mom and like 
we'd all mingle on FaceTime and stuff just so we knew each other and knew of each other. And then it's just about finding a time when you guys are free. So like summer works pretty good for that and just saving up money to actually do the traveling. How to focus on school and not procrastinate. So I always think about how much more relaxed I'll be if I get it all done. I sit down, I just do it all. I like a boy, but I don't know if he likes me back, but I know that he likes someone. I'm dying. Like just pay attention to the signs. Look at who he talks to a lot. Does he talk to you a lot? Does he initiate conversation with you? Does he look at you a lot? If so, those are probably good signs that he doesn't hate you, maybe even likes you, so see if he does these things with anyone else. He might like that person, so like just be observant. Yeah, if you're feeling bold though, just like ask his friends who he's into, like fortune favors the bold. I recently started a new school. I have social anxiety. How do I meet new people? This not only goes for your situation, but for anyone who wants to meet friends. Join a club or a sport or theater or something because you're going to meet a bunch of new people at once and all of these people have at least one common interest as you. Like if you do theater, all of you guys like theater. Literally theater is how I met like all of my closest friends and it's like the best thing ever so I highly recommend. How to sing better slash do it with confidence. I'm not very confident when I sing so I'm not one to talk. But something that helps me get more confident than I probably would be is just practicing a lot. If I have a song with a tricky note or something, I keep singing that note over and over again until I'm no longer scared to hit it. And then once I feel confident enough to be able to hit it like that, it's no big deal singing it in front of other people. So in my experience, the more rehearsed and the more you practice, the more confident you'll be when you actually sing it. I feel like my friend is trying to avoid me, but we've been friends for almost four years now. So if you've been friends for four years, Years. First of all, you should hopefully be comfortable enough with this person to talk to them about how you're feeling and hopefully sort through your problems through communication. But also, if you've been friends for that long, they may feel comfortable enough around you to branch out a little bit and meet new people, which absolutely sucks. But people get stir crazy sometimes and people don't always want to hang around the same people for a long amount of time and need to like branch out. But if you guys are true friends, they'll come back. It's just a matter of time. How to deal with post-concert depression. Literally all you can do is wait it out. It takes time, but it'll also help if you don't constantly look at pictures from the concert or constantly watch videos back from the concert because then you'll kind of just forget about it. Struggling in math, LOL. Same. <laughs> what helped me was just talking to my teacher like after school and after class just for extra help. It's helped me a lot, so I recommend just getting extra help, whether it's from the teacher themselves or from a friend of yours who's really good at math. I need to unfriend this friend of mine because she's very rude to me and immature. I don't know how. Okay, so dropping someone toxic can be tricky. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that dropping them is the best scenario in your case. Think to yourself, is this something that can be solved just by talking to them? Because that is probably the easiest, less messy way to go about this is if you could just talk it out. But if you really don't want to be friends with this person anymore because they're hurting you, which that is definitely a reason to drop someone, then the way to do it that I would recommend that causes the least amount of drama is to slowly stop talking to them and just kind of surround yourself with other friends. Hopefully if it all goes to plan, they'll get the hint, make other friends, you guys go on your own separate ways, or they'll confront you about it and be like, why are you avoiding me? And you just gotta be like, hey, you're kind of rude to me. I need to hang out with some other people and get away from all that for a little while cause you're like making me sad and uh, they probably won't take it very well, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. Any advice on starting a YouTube channel? Don't be discouraged if you don't have fancy equipment. That'll come over time. Literally all you need to start is like a phone and maybe a laptop. So if you got that, you're good to start. Make videos you enjoy watching and don't just make videos because you think they'll get views because then people will tell that you're being fake and won't enjoy it. Crush likes another girl. Luckily crushes aren't forever. So either you'll get over your crush and then this won't be a problem anymore or your crush will get over the girl that they're currently crushing on. And in the meantime, just be their friend. Hopefully they'll look at you and be like, whoa, they're pretty awesome. And yeah. Advice on how to talk to my crush. Why are these all about crushes? <laughs> in my experience, the best, most meaningful relationships with people are the ones where conversation is just natural. Try to strike up a conversation with your crush just about common interest or about something that happened at school that day and see how conversation goes from that point on. Is it easy to then talk about other things? Does it flow naturally or is it really forced? If it's forced, it's probably not meant to be, but if it's really natural conversation and easy and you guys talk about a lot and time just goes by really fast when you're with them, then you're in the good. It's all, all good. I'm in love with the fictional character's aesthetic. 
I would choose Ducky. Um, yeah, this comes from Gianna because her and I watched the movie Pretty in Pink and she is now obsessed with Ducky. My advice for you is to go to a thrift store, buy some suspenders and some round glasses and become the Ducky of your dreams. And lastly, one of my best friends for a while now hangs out with the so-called popular girls. Again, sometimes kids just need to branch out and experiment. If your friend's only hanging out with these girls because of their popular status, your friend will probably get bored and miss hanging out with you and will come back. So honestly, all you can really do is give it time and just find some other people to hang out with in the meantime and hope that they get bored with the popular kids and come back. And if they don't, it probably wasn't meant to be anyway because you really want to hang out with someone who leaves for a popular status? Probably not. Okay, so that is it for this video. Hopefully I gave you guys some useful, helpful advice. Maybe not, I don't know. So yeah, thank you guys for sending in some things. Let me know if this is a video you'd want me to do again in the future. And yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.